hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to create this button ripple effect using html css and javascript so we'll create this effect from scratch so here we can see when we click on this button we have this ripple effect and it starts from the place where we are clicking so we will create this effect from scratch using html css and javascript so let's get started <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called button ripple effect and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's create a new file called index.html and let's create another file called style.css and let's also create a javascript file. I'll just name it main.js. Right now let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here and uh, Let's also link the JavaScript file over here. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So what we need to do is we need to create a button and we'll also give it a class and let's give it a class of ripple button. So whenever we want to have this uh, ripple effect for the button, we will add this class and uh, then let's go ahead and type the text of the button. So I'll just type click me. And uh, now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see our button is being displayed over here in the browser. All right now let's go ahead and style this. So let's go to the styler CSS file. And for the button, we have this class of ripple button. So let's type ripple button and uh, Let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And let's set the border to none. And let's set the background color to 0078D4. And let's set the color of the text to white. And let's add rounded corners, so just a border radius. And let's set it to 8 pixels. And let's set the font size to 18 pixels. Now when we hover over this, we need to have the cursor set to pointer. So let's type cursor pointer. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create this ripple element. So when we click on this button, we want to create this ripple element. So for that, let's go back to our index.html file and in the button, we'll be creating and removing an element. So I'll just create a div and we will create a div with a class of ripple. And uh, we will add and remove this element using JavaScript. So let's go to our style or CSS file and first of all, let's style this. So let's tap ripple and we'll position this ripple relative to this button. So let's tap position relative for this button. And here we need to tap position absolute. Right now let's set the left position to zero and the top position to zero. Now we'll be setting these positions dynamically based on the click location. But for now, let's go ahead and add this so that we can see how it looks. So let's go ahead and add a background color and let's set it to RGBA 0.0003. So 0.3 is the opacity. Now we want it to have round shape. So let's tap border radius and let's set it to 50%. So it will have a round shape. Right now let's go ahead and set the width to let's say 50 pixels and let's set the height to 50 pixels. And now we can see we have this ripple element. Now we don't want to display this element outside this button. So here for the button, let's type overflow hidden. Now when we create this element, we need to add an animation where the element grows and it also fades away. So for that, let's go ahead and create an animation. So I'll just tap add keyframes and let's name it ripple animation. And here what we need to do is we need to set the last state. So I'll just type 2. You can also type 100% over here. And here we'll just set the scale. So let's type translate, scale, and let's set it to, let's try 4. And we'll also set the opacity to 0. Now here by default we'll set the transform scale to 0. And let's add the animation over here. So let's type animation. And let's tap ripple animation. 
and we'll set it for 0 0.8 seconds and uh, let's type linear for the easing right now let's save this and uh, we don't have the animation running so here we have this error we need to change this to transform right now let's save this and here we can see we have the animation so the ripple element is growing and it is fading out right now what we need to do is we need to dynamically set the left and top positions and also the width and the height of the element based on the button and uh, let's go ahead and delete the width and the height and also these left and top positions from here and now let's go ahead and add the javascript to create the element so i'll just delete this ripple element from here and uh, here in this button i'll just add an on click and here i'll just type create ripple so i'll just create this function called create ripple in javascript and here i'll just pass the data of the button so i'll just type event right now let's create this uh, function so let's go to the javascript file and let's create this function called create ripple and here we'll get some data i'll just call it e and let's create this arrow function now here the first thing we will do is we will reference this button so let's type const button equals e dot current target so this will give us the button so let's go ahead and see whether it works so let's go over here to inspector and uh, i'll just go to the console and here i'll just type console.log button and now let's click on this button and here we can see that the button is returned over here so it is working all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the left and top positions of this button so for that i'll just type const and i'll just call it rect and let's set it equal to button dot get bounding client rect and now let's go ahead and console.log it so let's click on this button and now here we can see we get all these values so we have bottom height left right top width and x and y so we get all this data from this rect now we'll be using this data so let's go ahead and uh, type const and let's create a constant called size and we will set the size to the maximum of the width and the height so if the width is the higher value then we will set the width to this size and in the same way if the height is the higher value then we will set it to the height so let's type math dot max and here we will add rect dot width and also rect dot height so it will store the higher value to this size so i'll just type console.log size and let's go ahead and click on this button and here we can see we have the size displayed so if i right click over here and go to inspect and here if you go to this element here we can see that we have a width of 133.01 so we have the same width over here right now the next thing we need to do is we need to create the ripple element so we had created a div with a class of ripple so let's go ahead and type const ripple equals document dot create element and let's type div or you can also create a span so i'll just create a span right now the next thing we will do is we will add the class ripple to this ripple element so let's type ripple dot class list dot add ripple and now let's set the width of the element so let's type ripple dot style dot width and let's set it to size here we also need to add pixels and we'll set the same value to the height so let's type ripple dot style dot height equals size pixels right now we need to set the left and the top positions so let's type ripple dot style dot left equals and for now i just type zero pixels and let's type ripple dot style dot top and for now let's type zero pixels over here as well we will change it later and now the next thing we need to do is we need to add this ripple to this button so let's type button dot append child and here let's type ripple and then we need to remove this ripple element after the animation ends so let's type ripple dot add event listener and here let's type animation end and here let's create an arrow function and let's type ripple dot remove so this will remove the element from the dom right now let's see whether this works so let's click on this button and we have this ripple effect now the position of this ripple is not correct so let's fix that so here we need to type e dot client x now this will give us the x axis of the clicked position and let's type pixels 
and here let's type e dot client y so this will give us the y axis and now if we click over here we can see that it starts from different positions but it is not correct yet so for that we need to subtract the left position of this rect so here we need to type minus rect dot left and then we need to subtract size divided by 2 and we need to do the same for this client y so let's type minus rect dot top minus size divided by 2 now this will give us the correct position for the center of where we click so now if we click on this button we can see that the ripple starts from the exact location and everything is working all right let's go ahead and add a new button and let's see it works so let's copy this and i'll just paste it down here and here i'll just change this to button 2 and now let's click on the second button and here also we have the ripple effect and uh, even for the first button we have the ripple effect so the ripple effect is working all right so that's basically how you can create this ripple effect from scratch using html css and javascript all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,